What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and I'm going to talk about application layer protocol negotiation. What is this exactly? Why do you need it? Why does it exist? And why should we care about it as backend engineers? Probably we shouldn't, but its existence is a way that can help us think to improve performance in general, right? So how about we discuss just that portion of it? Let's just jump into it. So ALPN, guys, stands for Application Layer Protocol Negotiation. And it is a TLS extension that will allow the client to tell the server that I'd like to communicate in this protocol, okay? The whole thing sounds confusing and I totally understand. So let's start with the problem. How about we do that? So the problem is this. I establish a TCP connection between client and server in order to send an HTTP content, right? I'm gonna send a GET request using HTTP 1.1, which is the old protocol, right? So what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? TCP connection, three-way handshake, sync, async, the uh, sync ack, sync ack, ack. Check out the video if you want to learn more about that. Once I have a TCP connection, I do TLS, which is uh, client hello. Hey, I'm, I want to encrypt this connection. Client hello, and then server hello, and then let's start encryption, right? I talked about TLS. Check out this video. And then after that, we start communicating with HTTP. So, so okay, this is a get HTTP 1.1, right? And all of a sudden, the server will get that. Most servers support HTTP 1.1, so we don't have a problem. And if we get an error, we get an error. So we send back the information. And that's how it works, right? So TCP, three-way handshake, TLS, and then we send the actual content. HTTP 2 came into the picture and says, okay, what do we do, guys, if I want to communicate in HTTP 2.2? The problem is, we can do this, right? So, okay, server, client, my server, I want to communicate in HTTP 2. How about we just do the same thing? TCP, TLS, and then after that, get slash HTTP 2. Why don't we do that? The problem with this is you will get most of the time if the server doesn't, how do you know if the server supports HTTP 2 or not? So you would have sent that and this call might actually fail because not all servers support HTTP 2. Even now, not all servers support HTTP 2, too, uh, version 2. So you're going to get an error. And then you need to handle that. So that is okay. Let me send HTTP 1.1 request then. So you lost a request. And that's a waste, right? So someone will say, okay, Hussein. I'm not gonna send the actual get request. How about I send an upgrade request and see if the server actually supports it? It's the same thing. If you send that get request and say, okay, I wanna upgrade the connection to HTTP2, you, it's, it's, it's a wasted request because if the server supports it, you're gonna get a response that, okay, let's do it. And then you send that get request. If the server doesn't support it, you just wasted a cycle and then you go back to HTTP1. So it's a waste regardless. So it might be actually better to send the request and fail. And in the in the super case, okay, let's let, let, if the server supports TB2, you'll be good. But that in both cases, both scenarios are bad. How do I tell the server that I want to communicate with TB2? And if you don't support it, let's communicate with TB11 or other stuff in the future. Meet application layer protocol negotiation. We have the TCP extension, right? We have the TCP handshake. And then we have the TLS handshake. In the TLS handshake, we tell the server, by the way, guys, I want to communicate with HTTP2. And if you don't support it, let's communicate with HTTP11. That, is, that extension to the TLS hello is called application layer protocol negotiation, ALP and extension. And it literally says that. I'm going to show it in the screen right now to show how it looks like. And the server say, okay, I do support HTTP2. Let's just use it. I'm going to, I know this now, this knowledge. I'm going to tell you in the server hello that 
let's use HTTP2. And then now you can safely send me HTTP2 stuff, all right? The stream, the headers, I will understand it. If you just send me the stream, I'm gonna freak out. Not only I'm gonna freak out, everybody in the, the proxies will get a freak out. Everybody's gonna freak out in the middle, right? So they go, what is this? Not really, if it's encrypted, nobody will freak out. <laughs> it's all, well, it's encrypted, right? But yeah, so now the server actually know, and then they can communicate on that. With Quick, this TLS uh, step is actually merged in the handshake itself. So they both become one. And that's powerful stuff, right? With the TCP, you have to do this three-way handshake. That's its own thing. And then TLS is its own thing. The quick merges the two, and then you can still do the LPN and all that stuff in one runtime. So guys, this protocol actually teaches us to think in, in a way to always be better, to perform better, both for both front end and back end, right? If I'm building a back end, how do I minimize the round trips? That way of thinking is, is very critical. And that's why I want to talk about this protocol, not just because of the, of the act of it. Why is it, what does it do? But why doesn't, why is it invented? Everything has a why in it. And if you ask the why, then you will find out the how. What the hell does that mean? I don't, I don't know what it means. <laughs> but yeah, if you're building a backend application, always ask why I'm doing that. How do I improve something, right? If I want to improve a performance, then you can, these, know, knowing these thing, things can actually improve your fluidity when it comes to thinking and improving the performance of the application. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I'm going to see you in the next one, guys. Check out the other content. I talk about the back end most of the time on this channel. Subscribe, hit that like button, and I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.